the Alessandra D chase is next and this is another long distance one this is three miles and six furlongs a grade three event in the top one is Asian Blue Herbie One Charmer Blue Daniel French, Dan Silly Blue, Stu Gray, Emperor Fountain, Kevin Meenahan, AT Alternative, Molly Et Surfer, Blood of My Blood, Leon Van Rensburg, Brossa Leanne, Fine, Doug Warren, Grecian Urn, Graham Clutterbuck, Luna Skies, Darren Thompson, Moon Lake, Jim Murray, Name Check Hotel, P. Hannon, Now and Then, Martin Lidham, Wright Grass, David Robertson, The Mighty Eight, Joshua Sutherland, Warfeather, Thunderspark, and Ziva David, Paul Rhodes. So away they go then. And quite a few blues and blurs in this as they come down towards the first of the fences and Brosselian Fine and Emperor Fountain are the first two to show and they are going on by a couple of events. 19 fences to take in this then and this is the first of them and it's a ditch and over it they go and they're all safely over it with Brosselian Fine in the purple on the outside of Emperor Fountain in the green and orange. They're the two leaders. Gap then have a couple of lengths to Moon Lake in the Jim Murray black and red and then the rest of the field are pretty tightly grouped with probably just right grass and Ziva David heading those two towards the back. Lunar Skies is just the back marker at this early stage but they're going a sensible sort of clip and it's Emperor Fountain by three parts of a length to Brosselian and Fine in second. And they come down to the first plane fence which is the second fence overall and they're all over that one okay as well. With Emperor Fountain just about winning the battle to lead, then a length clear of Brosselian Fine, then a gap of three to the remainder. Are headed by Moon Lake with Name Check Hotel right on the outside, and Right Grass on his inside. Also getting a little bit closer is Dan Silly Blue. That's the first of the blues. A couple of blues and a blur, I think. And Emperor Fountain is the leader. With AT Alternative now, just the back marker. So they come towards the third of the fences. Ooh, mistake at the back there by AT Alternative. Went right down on his nose, but he got over it okay. They've still got just over three miles to go. And plenty of time to get back on an equal footing, regain your equilibrium, and play a part in the race. So no need to panic yet. And it's Emperor Fountain, who's about a length and three quarters up on Brosselli and Fine in second. As they take number four. Better jump at the back by AT Alternative this time. The Mighty Eight took a bit of time landing well, in the air for a while but Emperor Fountain's the leader from Brussels Leanne Fine second Moon Lake is the Dunsany Blue and Blood of Mob Blood are next the yellow colours nearest to us are Agent Blur as they take the next one and they're all safely over that one as well with the entire field and successfully negotiated the first five fences facing down towards the next one and they're all going reasonably well within themselves at this stage Emperor Fountain has now opened up a three length lead though from Brosselli and Fine, a couple of lengths clear of the pack. We're headed by Moon Lake and Dan City Blue. And Asian Blue and the yellow on the inside as they take number six. And then we'll over that one okay as well. With AT Alternative still the back marker. And the order pretty much as it has been most of the way so far. With Emperor Fountain the leader. Brosselli and Fine second. Then Dan City Blue. Density Blue is third, then Agent Blue is after that one, and then Blood of My Blood as they take number seven. Drop that one nicely as well with AT Alternative, still the back marker in there, going comfortably on the inside. Hugging that rail. Right he was doing, and now he's been pulled right out to the outside. So, what the jockey's doing there? A little bit of a wander about as they come down to the eighth. Yeah, that one okay as well with uh, Emperor Fountain clear in front. Rosalie and Fine, Agent Blur, Dan City Blue, Moon Lake, Blood of My Blood, Right Grassy with a Reed and Gray and then Warfeather, and Lunar Skies and the Mighty Eight, Name Check Hotel is after them. Sharma Blur has dropped back a little bit, now and then he's also dropping back, and AT Alternative is still the back marker, but they're all still on their feet as they race past the stand, then two miles to race, and passing the winning post shortly. Crowd at Punchestown today. Enjoying the racing. I don't know whether it's not raining. We're at Irish course and there's no rain, so that's makes a change. And Emperor Fountain's in front. Across that little pathway. Possibly and Fine has just dropped back a little bit on the inside. Jockey getting a bit of a breather into that one as they come down to the tenth and over that one. The leader was a little bit slow but still jumped it okay. Emperor Fountain from Agent Blur in second, then Blood of My Blood is third, then Warfeather and Dan City Blue. Brosselian Fine on the inside with Moon Lake just behind him. Grecian Urn's also trying to get a little bit closer, creeping up on the outside as well as the Mighty Eight as they take number 11. 
now and then is now the back marker. But there's probably no more than 12 or 15 lengths first to last at the moment. But everything still seems to be going well within itself with a little more than a mile and a half to go. And Emperor Fountain's the leader. War Feather the Grey has moved through into a clear second. Ziva Davine is also making a bit of a forward move. And then comes the Mighty Eights. The big guns starting to show their hand now as they get closer to the finish. And Emperor Fountain in the lead, coming down to this 12th. Lands in front of Warfeather and Ziva David and the Mighty Eight. These four are clear of Dan City Blue and Grecian Urn. And Blood of My Blood and Agent Blur, Brosselian Fine still there on the inside. And Moonlight behind him, then Sharma Blur and Name Check Hotel. And Right Grass then on out of it. The back three are Lunar Skies now and then an AT alternative. But up the top then, it's three in a line now. The Mighty Eight, Warfeather and the long-time leader Emperor Fountain on the inside. Gap of a couple of lengths back to Ziva David. And then another little gap of a length or so to Grecian Urn and Agent Blur as they take the next one. This is the 13th and over that one they go. And Emperor Fountain has just got his head back in front. Emperor Fountain by half a length now to the Mighty Eight and Warfeather. Get back to the remainder, and now headed by Grecian Urn, Ziva David dropped back just a little bit. Brosley and Fine is shuffling towards the back now as well. AT Alternatives coming out of the last pass, and we're losing one now and then. He's being pulled up, so they take the 14th, and also Lunar Skies has been pulled up as well. So two out of the race then at that point, pulled up now and then, and Lunar Skies. But up the top, it's Emperor Fountain still in the lead from the Mighty Eight. In between, between the two of them, War Feather. Then they get back to Ziva David as they take the 15th, and over that one they go. Another slow jump at the back by AT Alternative. Difficult to see that one getting into it now. Brosley and Fine has also dropped right out the back, but it's still Emperor Fountain. Emperor Fountain by ahead. The Mighty Eight is putting a big challenge in on the outside. Deciding which way to go. There is War Feather also coming out of the pack now. Dan Silly Blue's coming through with a run. Then after that one is Agent Blur and then Blood of My Blood and Grecian Urn. They race down towards the 16th. Four for moment. Dan Silly Blue jumped up sides. The Mighty Eight. Dan Silly Blue goes into the lead. It's Dan Silly Blue from the Mighty Eight in second. Emperor Fountain now looks beaten in third. Then War Feather and Agent Blur. Grecian Urn's after that one. They race down towards the next. And it's Dan Silly Blue in the Lead from the Mighty Eight in second. Dan City Blue, a length clear at the third last, jumps in nicely. Over in second goes the Mighty Eight. Then comes War Feather and Blood of My Blood. Agent Blur's trying to run on as well. They come down towards the second from home now. There's still more than three furlongs to race. And Dan Silly Blue is now passed by the Mighty Eight, Warfeather and Blood of My Blood. Down to the third last they go and over that one. It was the Mighty Eight who landed in the lead. Warfeather though has now gone on. Warfeather's in the lead. Warfeather from the Mighty Eight and Blood of My Blood into the final two furlongs they go. The Warfeather's in the lead. Warfeather's got one to jump. Warfeather, Mighty Eight, Blood of My Blood. These three are clear of Ziva David and Grecian Earn. How are they going to jump this last fence? It's Warfeather who comes through in the lead. Jumps it nicely. Eight to my eight on the inside. My, Mighty Eight's on the inside. Blood of My Blood and then comes Warfeather. Warfeather's in the lead, Warfeather by about a neck, Warfeather from the Mighty Eight in second, and then Blood of My Blood and Agent Blur's back in fourth, and they race inside the final half for long, Warfeather is still in the lead, being pressed by the Mighty Eight, then comes Blood of My Blood, but Warfeather's going to take it, and up towards the line, Warfeather wins it from the Mighty Eight second, Blood of My Blood third, Agent Blur fourth, and then Rod Grass and Moon Lake and Sean and the Blur and Dan Silly Blue ended up to finish last. So Warfeather takes it for Thunderspark. The Mighty Eight for Joshua Sutherland was second. Blood of My Blood, Leon Van Rensburg was third. Agent Blur for Obi-Wan was fourth. And Right Grass for David Robertson was fifth.